of school as an apprentice the, um, in, as a carpenter. Uh, once I finished my carpentry apprenticeship within two years of a builder's licence, I was only about 22, 23 at the time and have been involved in the building industry ever since. Um, so there's a total of over 30 years of experience. See, before we got married I was working in the bank, in um, one of the major banks and so um, when we got married and I gave up that job and I started just getting involved more and more in our business, do the paperwork side of things, I'm now quite involved in sales and um, some design work. I've been in business for myself for a couple of reasons. Um, my father was a farmer so he was always self-employed right from when he was young. He, um, I actually got quite annoyed with some of the guys I was working for and decided that I was over that and started my own business. We built anywhere, we built on Sunshine Coast, we built up towards Gympie, Rainbow Beach, we've done jobs at Dolbeach and Chilla, um, Black Butt, so we, we generally just stick to the more rural sort of areas. I think it's just more that country farmhouse feel, it gives you the sense of family and um, just the, the warmth I guess of timber and um, that in your house, but lots of timber, lots of open space, lots of you know big windows and uh, high ceilings if if the plan allows for that. The sloping blocks aren't really that difficult once you're geared up for it. The um, it's just the uh, it's just a, a process of illumination and planning as you start the job, working with the slope rather than against it. Um, it's always better to work with the slope so you're not carving a big hole in the ground. We work with the breezes, north easterly aspects are the best aspect. Um, any trees that are there that we can utilise um, to make the, the house the most livable. Orientation is probably one of the biggest, uh, it's probably one of the most important things in the design of the house, north leastly aspect, five degrees um, east of north is the ideal orientation for a house, um, and keep the house cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. I think a lot of it is, um, you know, that's where the most of the heat and the cold comes in and out of the house is through the glazing, so we try and have some cross ventilation if need be, you can have double glazing which will make a huge difference to the livability of a house. Um, but yeah, just trying to get the windows in the right locations and um, you know enough windows in each room that will allow for cross ventilation. The bushfires are a concern, particularly with the dry weather we've been getting the last couple of years. Um, there's a bushfire code for bushfire houses, it's quite extensive and involved, but we've We've done many bushfire um, houses. It's just a case of process of illumination to work with the code and the elevations. If you can clear the trees back a bit from the houses, it's really good. But if you can't or we don't want that option, then we have the option is to build the house to suit whatever rating they. Um, often we work with a with a flood um, code. Uh, it's which the minimum flood height, minimum floor heights for flood codes on particularly some of the lower lying areas. The um, and that's just really conforming to the code to the 100 year flood level. Well making the air stormproof is really just making sure that everything's done done properly and up to code for the uh, particular wind rating of that area. That's um, and that's once again that's just a bit of being a bit meticulous with the tie down um, and all the timber sizing etc. Um, we always check on a lot of that stuff as we're as it's being designed I always go over the plans look at them get back to engineers and beef anything up that I feel isn't up to speed or as good as it could be. When we design kitchens, um, we spend some time talking with the owners and seeing just what they do in their kitchen. Do they cook a lot? Do they? Um, what? How do they entertain? Those sorts of things. And if, if somebody loves to cook, well, they want to have easy access to their pantry and their stove and their sink and those just so everything's set, um, you know, handy to to get to. Um, another thing is plenty of storage. If you have the space, is to make really good use of. The, the kitchen that you've got and um, you know build enough drawers and things and, and just just how you want to live in that house to make it workable. So when we're designing and even our own house we've designed it so um, we have we love having people over and family and friends visiting and and it's great to have the kitchen and the living areas flowing in and out so people come and go and you know grab the grab something else to eat and take more drinks out so it's all everyone's in together you don't feel like you're separated. So as a family business we um, Elsa and I both work together of course. Um, Elsa does the sales, she does the book work, she does a lot of organisational stuff in the office and a bit of running around. Um, we also have our eldest son working for us, um, Aaron, who's actually just finished his apprenticeship probably a couple of years ago and he's now running uh, running some of the jobs for us. Um, we also have our next son Sam, who's working at Motors Labour. He 
the, uh, so it's just good to be able to employ your family as well, but it's also good that you have people working for you that you know you can trust 100%.